Hello, my name is Mitch Olson. I'm an attorney at Axley Law Firm, where I focus on land use and zoning issues. I am briefly going to discuss Wisconsin Supreme Court's recent decision in Zwiefelhofer v. Town of Cooks Valley and how the decision affects town regulation of land use. The Cooks Valley decision stems from significant and ongoing development pressures by frac sand companies in western Wisconsin over the past year. Frac sand is used in the natural gas extraction process in other parts of the U.S. Wisconsin has large quantities of the specific type of sand desired for fracking. Frac sand excavation is highly controversial and typically opposed by most towns and counties in the targeted areas. The town of Cooks Valley in Chippewa County was among the first towns to adopt an ordinance seeking to regulate frac sand excavation. The town adopted a non-metallic mining licensing ordinance under the authority of its police powers to regulate the life, health, and safety of its residents. The ordinance empowered the town board with discretion to approve or deny a permit anywhere in the town based on specified criteria. A group of landowners wishing to engage in frac sand excavation filed a lawsuit in Chippewa County Circuit Court challenging the town ordinance on the grounds that it was a zoning ordinance. If a town wishes to adopt a zoning ordinance in a zoned county, the county must approve the town's ordinance. The landowners contended that the new ordinance could not stand because the town did not seek or obtain county approval. The circuit court agreed and invalidated the ordinance. In early 2012, the Wisconsin Supreme Court issued a decision overturning the circuit court. The court held that the ordinance was a licensing ordinance and not a zoning ordinance. The town had authority to adopt the licensing ordinance under its police powers recognized by the court. As such, the ordinance did not require county approval or other procedural requirements attached to zoning. The ordinance was therefore valid and enforceable. The court did not create a bright line rule as to what constitutes a zoning ordinance. Instead, the court endorsed a functional approach. The decision lists six characteristics of zoning ordinances and several purposes of zoning ordinances and then analyzes the subject ordinance in relation to such characteristics and purposes. This Cooks Valley decision paves the way for towns across the state to adopt police power licensing ordinances outside the scope of zoning, provided they follow the court's guidelines. In the case of non-metallic mining and other objectionable land uses, the court has opened the door for unzoned towns to adopt licensing ordinances outside the established traditional processes of zoning. A flood of such ordinances is likely, beginning with non-metallic mining ordinances and moratoria, preventing mining activity for some period of time. Police powers can be given a broad interpretation to regulate most any controversial land use on a piecemeal basis. The state may need to consider legislation to consider the authority of towns relative to traditional zoning and limits of land use controls. Further litigation or legislative action is also a distinct possibility. Feel free to contact me with more information on this important and developing topic.